friends and welcome back to my channel Hashvi Animation. Today we are looking at Pencil 2D. Um, I showed you how uh, the tools and the app works in the last video so make sure to check that one. Well let's go and open Pencil 2D. Now let me tell you what we are doing today. Today we are making a man running. So let's get to it. First we will take the brush tool. Do uh, like a head here. Oh that was really small. You can just erase that. But maybe approximately there. Then when we are done. Um, I found some reference that we could use. So I found these. So well, let's get to it. And use this. So we see this first one. This is the first one we're going to be using so we can just make it a little smaller so we can see our screen better. Here we'll take the polygon tool, make our body. So here we'll just take it, do a straight line and then do like that. Then we'll go enter. Here we'll take this, we'll, uh, drag it out a little. In, out, enter. Then we'll go up here, do one line there one out here, one out there, and one inside. Then we'll go enter. Now when we've done this first first frame, then we'll go and add another tool or add another frame. And then we'll go and add the onion skin. And we'll take previous frame and make, it sh make sure it's like one. And then when you're done, you can go and now see, take the brush tool, do this head really close, but there. And then now we can, now we can look at the second image and then we'll take the polygon tool now. But now we'll start from the head, go down, and then we'll do one line up here, down, enter. Now when we've done that, we'll do the same thing with the leg, but we'll make the thigh part go, or make the leg part go down a little, down, and then like that. So now when we've done that, we'll do the arms like this, like this, like this, and like this. When we're done, we go enter. Now when we have done this, We'll add another frame and now we'll go to the brush tool again and then do the head right here. And it's okay if it, you see it's like overlapping a little like there and there, but it's okay. It's not going to be um, shown when we're done with the animation. Here we'll go to the third frame. Now it's d like this. So take the polygon tool. Well, it's okay um, if you mistaked and did it. But I will remind you, don't do it ever. If it is a mini mistake, just erase it. Oh, if so. And don't use this uh, control Z. Um, and now we'll, I will just do there, enter. And then down, enter, down, enter. Now when we've done that, we'll do the arms again. Now it's pretty equal. And then we'll go enter. Now we take the last frame. So you add another frame, go and do this diagram. So you take the brush tool, do the head. Okay, we can make it a little further away. And then we'll do the polygon tool. Take um, the line here. It's like a zigzag. And then we'll take like that, enter. And now we'll take the same thing. We start from the corner, go here, out, down, enter. Now when we're done with that, we'll go to the neck part, go like there, not too far away, and then we'll go like when we're done with that, we'll go to the neck part again, start there, drag a line all the way down there, and then we'll go enter. 
Now when we've done that, if we go back, turn off previous frame, and then we'll loop it, it will be like this. And make sure you have four in the uh, frames for fr a second. So now it will be like he's running. Take another layer. So we'll take another bitmap layer. Name it, um, we'll name it background. When we're done, we go OK or Enter. When we're done, uh, you can take the color wheel. Choose a nice color. I customize these three colors that I really like. I will choose this one for my background, or I will choose this one, I think. When we're done, we go OK, and then take the color, take the brush tool, and, oh wait, you can increase the width, so it's easier and faster. Or else you can take the bucket or the full paint bucket and just color everything. Well, I like to do this, and then I forgot to uh, move it behind. Well, now, if we go to the last frame, I want to um, just draw a finish line, and now when we play, it will be like this. So here in the last frame, it will be like that. Well, now when we're done with it, we can export it. Oh wait, um, I have a better idea. Well, for the background, it's really plain, so we can also use like do clouds and stuff, but that's what, not what I'm thinking. A better idea is to line cross. Oh, that was too. Uh, maybe like that. Well, now I need to erase everything because I did something wrong and I. Well, me, I'm worn um, with like doing Control Z, and now when I'm like uh, trying to erase, it will be like that. I just. I just, um, I'm just normal control Z person. I just do that every time I uh, do wrong. And now when I am like, uh, you're not supposed to do that in this app, it's really hard. So here I'm just making stripes. It's cool, it's a cool design, I like it. Here now when I'm done, I will. it will be like this. And now when we wanna export it, we'll go file, Export as animated GIF. We'll name it maybe one dot 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 dot, and then enter. Now when I'm done, I will go six frames, and it will go okay. And then yes, I want to see my my god. Oh yeah, there one dot dot, and then here we'll see our running man. It will be like that. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!